cotton bag it's so nice it's so soft like the material is really soft uh it's not see-through it's soft it's thick enough i'm a size small in this i think if i went on extra small it would have been too small for me again like the good thing about <laughs> We'll go slow and high tempo Light and dark Hold me hard and mellow I'm seeing the pain, seeing the pleasure Nobody but you, body but me, body but us, bodies together I love to hold you close tonight Yeah, I'm so... And we're gonna switch it right now because I am legit going to do a try-on haul for you guys Uh... I don't know if it's my bad luck or what, but I did a video reviewing Fashion Nova of all the things I got from Fashion Nova since I got here. And wouldn't you know, I accidentally deleted the video, so I'm gonna have to do it over. So here I am today, I'm gonna shoot this video. So I hope you guys like it because I'm doing it for y'all. Because um, as I said before, a lot of persons, I know a lot of persons, um, um, I've, I've asked me in the past because I, I did a rant about them like in terms of getting my items because it took like two months for me to get my items when I just shop when I just started shopping with them but I did eventually get my items and honestly the items that I got um, you'll see them when I'm trying them on they weren't bad they were actually really nice so because of that I'm gonna do the video for you I'm gonna do a haul of absolutely everything I got I got a bunch of stuff like as crazy um, my body type my body size and the sizes I got and I hope it helps some girls out there and um, I don't know anything about fashion over men because I've never bought fashion over men <laughs> um, but for the woman I got y'all so stay tuned and see you in the try on yeah we'll see how it goes Talk about the first impression shopping on fashion over when I was shopping on fashion over the first thing I noticed was that most of the girls were like and I was like, damn, I don't look anything like those women. Like, how will I look in these clothes? Like, I don't look anything like them. And I was like, you know what? Let me just give it a shot. Because it's like, oh, those girls are like so shapey. And I'm like, mm-mm. So the first impression was not very good. I, was, I felt like they could have used more realistic um, body types. Like, every woman on Fashion Nova is just curvy. Like, like small waist, big bum, and broad hips. You know, like, it's and boobs, like, for life. So I was like, wow, that is like a little, you know, disheartening. But, you know, after, you know, getting past all of that trauma <laughs> and looking on the side, I realized that hmm, some of the things are really nice. So what I did first was to read the reviews um, on the items to see, like, if persons mentioned their body size or persons to mention, you know, how the material is. And I'd also, like, re read the quality of the material and what it's made of because, you know, some materials stretch while others don't stretch. So if it doesn't stretch, you may want to go a size up. But if it stretches a lot, you can go a size down or you can use your actual size, depending. So that's what I did. I read the reviews and I realized that, you know, it's kind of not so bad. So I gave it a shot. Um, what I did though is that it was my first time so I shouldn't have gone all up but because everything was so cheap like literally tops were like $25 dresses were like 35 some dresses were like 40 something dollars depending on if it's like a fancy looking dress so I was like oh my god like everything was so nice and I went berserk and I got over $1,000 worth of items <laughs> so like oh my god and then even coming here I spent over like a thousand dollars again like honestly everything adds up like it's easy to spend a lot of money on fashion but when you're not checking like and then they do have these coupons like they have these 20 percent off coupons that you can get um so do look online for coupons for sure like you have 20 percent off or you have like free 30 that's another coupon i will put that below that you can use so you get 30 percent off you can also get 20 percent off if you do follow some um, Instagram celebrities some of them are linked with fashion over and they act they actually have coupon codes that you could use um yeah but other than that you could just go online and just type in coupon for fashion over and a lot of things will pop up so yeah after I you know went through all that I bought my items I bought my items like a little after Black Friday so when I bought the item it said I got a um the message saying I'm sorry due to the the, the um increasing um volume of um orders we were experiencing some back time lag blah 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 so essentially they were saying they're a little behind time but i wasn't in any rush to get the item so i was like okay cool no problem and that was in like end of november didn't get my items until like next year <laughs> january it was really bad because i shipped my items to jamaica and girl believe me that's another drama because when they reach jamaica like customs 
dirty customs like when you need to shake up on a folly grounds and i cannot do that to people like customs literally charge me twice the amount for the items as i paid like i swear i kid you not custom wanted to charge me over a hundred thousand dollars to clear the items i'm like oh my god like jamaica customs really need to do better because i mean like why are you ripping people off like that so i would recommend do not buy so much for do not buy such a large volume like i did spend like maybe a hundred dollars or less and send your items maybe through another um through a third party shipping like ship me or something and yeah also if you do not go over fifty dollars you don't have to pay custom charges so if you keep your, your items under fifty dollars you shouldn't get charged customs and make sure that you have your um your receipts or something to present to them to say hey i did not spend over fifty dollars so i shouldn't be charged but you know them still they probably will find some reason to charge you thief uh yeah so yeah after i got my item like literally two months late i mean i was really really angry like i at one point they did not have a couple of the items that i didn't that i wanted and they sent me a gift um voucher in-store credit for like 114 dollars because a lot of the items that i bought were out of stock and i'm saying if my items is out of if the item is out of stock why allow me to purchase it take it off the website or mark it as you know out of stock like you need somebody like you need some it people like to sort that out for you like don't let people be buying stuff and then tell them oh i'm sorry your item is out of stock but here's a store credit no that's shady so that was a bit of a bust and because i didn't use paypal i couldn't get my money back so what i did was give me store credit and i mean it's okay because i shop from them afterwards and i use my store credit because the store, the store credit does not expire it's forever i believe <laughs> well until they come out of business which i don't think is anytime soon so yeah um they gave me store credit and i used it afterwards um i didn't trust to have them have my store credit for so long so i think i used my store credit a couple weeks later and i received those items so all in all it was a sort of a touch and go experience it was bad but then it turned out good and i'm okay now because i went back and i shopped from them so you know you just kind of have to have a bit of patience when you're shopping with them <laughs> so yeah that was my first experience and that was in turn that was a shipping um experience um and shopping with them so as i said don't go over 50 dollars you won't get charged customs and if you use ship or any other um third party you should be fine also do not um buy in bulk like i did like girl girl the only reason why i spent over 800 dollars because i'm in the u.s and i know that shipping it to us is really fast and it's not like shipping to jamaica so that's why i kind of trusted that but if we're gonna send to jamaica don't use over uh don't go over 50 dollars unless you want to pay custom charges that's up to you but yeah that was that um so since we spoke about all that i think it's fair for us to just jump into the try on because i'm pretty sure that's what everybody came here for uh the try on of everything that i got like oh my god Micah, you're ridiculous so guys if you want to see what everything looks like just please stick around all right see ya Wait, so this one is actually called the kathleen or the, the international lover hoodie sorry not kathleen the international lover hoodie and then this is the matching bottom the international lover um sweatpants with fashion over with their sets they actually um they actually sell them separately some of the sets so that when i bought this i actually thought i was getting the set for 19 dollars and it's actually at the top so i actually i had i had to go back and get the bottom for another 19 dollars actually it was 20 dollars it was 19.99 yeah so that was that so the two, the set together is literally like 40 dollars which is not so bad because I really like it. I think it's really nice. Um, you can dress it up with some heels or you can wear it with uh, um, some sneakers, but I'm gonna try it on with some heels so that you can see what it actually looks like with heels because most times I'm in heels. I actually wore this top um, some days ago um, with a sneakers and a, and a pair of um, ripped jeans. So I'm gonna try it on with some of the stilettos and see how it looks. All right, these are some actually these are some really cute transparent mule heels I got from um, Misguided. I'm gonna do a haul with Misguided as well as well as with Boohoo because I got some stuff from them. So this is how it looks in some stilettos, <laughs> and it actually looks pretty nice. I could see myself, um, you know, just having a little. I'm not sure where I'd wear this too because yeah, like if you're a kind of person that loves to go on a lounge or bar kind of thing. That would be nice, but I literally can see myself going grocery shopping in this. I'm that extra. So, yeah, this is how it looks from the back. Um, and, yeah, this is how it looks. In front, it has these little rips right here. 
and it looks like a, a sort of a light um, jeans material but it's really just leggings it's very comfortable I really do like it so if you're thinking about getting some sets I would definitely recommend this as I said this is the international um, oh I had the tag here the international lover hoodie and the international lover jeggings and together with the stilettos they actually look very nice and I am a size I thought this was a size right a size small and they do have stretch and the small is very comfortable I don't think I'd go ahead and get an extra small because the extra small may be too small for my thighs but the small is very very comfortable for me in most of fashion over I am a small in some items when it runs a bit big I do go ahead and get an extra small but with the leggings I am a bit iffy in terms of getting too tight of a leggings so I always get a small so if you want to use me for reference I'm gonna list my body size below and the sizes in each items that I get now it's actually called the um, Kathleen load set what the shit's trying to kill me <laughs> This one is called the Kathleen Lounge Set, and this olive is so pretty with the mud, with this um, like this maroon burgundy stripe at the side. And you can wear this at the gym, or you can dress it up. And for me, I'm definitely not wearing this at the gym. I'm dressing it up like the hell. Um, but this string in the front, though, I'm not really sure what fashion I'm gonna think about, because this thing comes up in the neck, and you're like, should it go up? Should it go down? What does it do? Like. It's doing something, but I'm not sure what it's doing. But this set, though, it's really nice. And I have another olive one I'm going to try on right after this. But this set is so cute. I'm going to try it on with the mule heels so you can see how it looks. But, yeah, this is how it looks without the heels. Uh, let me try on the heels. This is the heels. You probably, if you want, you could get, like, an olive mule heel. But, yeah, yeah this one works fine. So, <laughs> other than... My pudge right here, I do believe this is a nice set. My pudge right here is doing a little most. This little thing right here. So, but other than that, it's so nice. It's so soft. Like the material is really soft. Uh, it's not see-through. It's soft. It's thick enough. I'm a size small in this. I think if I went an extra small, it would have been too small for me again. Like the good thing about these though is that you can buy them in they come separately so if you're small in the bottom big in the top or vice versa you could definitely get your perfect size because you can mix and match so this is it guys this is the second set and usually i would never wear a set like i always thought it looked so tomboyish but yo like this is sexy <laughs> all right fashion Nova, i see you you did something here you did do something you did come through so like girls who have like big butt and thick thighs and I'm touching myself like I have those <laughs> so yeah though this looks so cute on you guys um, again I am a small and I will list my body size below so that you guys can get a feel of my the Bodak 2 um, set long set um, but this one I actually got it because I saw this um, fashionista um, post it and they tagged Fashion Nova and then she had it with this um like a leather jacket and a black boots and I was like guys I know it's copying but the the but I know it's copying but the entire outfit was just so cute and I was like wow I have to get it so I got the set and then I was like I couldn't find the boots I went on um Miss Guy that's how the a similar boot and I got it and then I got all uh, the um a similar boot and I was like oh my god I have to get it and then I did get the um the the leather jacket though from fashion nova um so i'm gonna try on all those things and show you exactly how it looked on her she had on this set and like a black leather jacket and then a black boot so i'm gonna try it on and let me in the comments guys if you like it if it's a hit or if it's a miss so yeah <laughs> So this is the let's play so this is the jacket this is a let's play leather jacket from fashion over um, let's play um, motor um, jacket from fashion over and it has this cute little belt I believe you can just like bring it around and yeah 
and close it but i'm not gonna wear it like that i'm gonna just wear it like this and i really did like the look because this this top in particular is very very short almost looks like a little gym wear but if you couple it with something like a jacket and some nice shoes then it could be a look but by itself i don't think so much the other two you could actually wear and it could be a look but this one by itself definitely would need to um be dressed up a bit all right was a lot to put on all right let's put the shoes out of the way and yeah this is the look so it's this is the bodak 2 bodak 2 lounge set and yeah what do you guys think is it a look or is it a miss i'm thinking it's a look but it's very hard to get in these boots like I'm sweating. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So this is This is for me definitely a look. Yeah. Tell me the truth. Is this a look or is it a miss? Cuz like I literally copped the whole style from the girl. Like I'm sorry. I had to. I don't even remember her name. I just know that she's a fashionista on Instagram and I'm like, "Wow, that's a cute set from Fashion Nova." And then by itself it would just not work. So like I had to get the whole fit and yeah i found the boots as i said from misguided the jacket is from fashion over it's the let's play biker um jacket i got a medium because while we reading the reviews i heard that i read that it fits small so if you're like me kind of i'm a d i'm a 34 i'm a dirty, actually i'm a double d i'm a 34 double d and um my um my size in jackets are normally small so i was like should I get the medium? Would it be too big? I'm really glad I got the medium because the small would have been oh, too small. So yeah, I'm liking this look. Let me know in the comments if you think this is a hit or if you think it's a miss. There's no pervert watching this, but all right. This is a bodysuit and I just want to try it on like this so that you could see how it looks. Here's how it's a bit baggy, but other than that, it's good. I love how the sleeves are long. Um, this is the, this is the um high hopes um bodysuit and this is the color ivory i also have it in black i'm gonna i just want to show you how it looks before i um try it on with my jeans i have about three pair of jeans that i got from fashion Nova in jamaica i have uh, several more um but i'm gonna try it on with the ones that i have right now so you can see how it looks i hope you can see how this one is it's pretty nice it's a cotton formal material it's very soft it's very nice and I like how this comes up in the neck and the little straps right here, but it, this is sort of um, bigger than I am, my neck. So I'm probably gonna have a dress and I'm gonna take it in for me and that should be fine. But other than that, it fits really nice. And so I'm gonna try it on with some jeans so you can see how it looks with jeans. Cause I think that's what I'm gonna wear with anyways, with some jeans or some shorts. How they look with um, jeans. These are the classic high waist jeans. No, I've had these jeans before. <laughs> But your girl gained some weight and i was a size three in these but now i'm a size five but other every other jeans in fashion over i'm a size three well one and two jeans i probably am a size five depending on how they fit but these fit um stretchy but not so stretchy um not unlike their um super high waist skinny jeans i don't have any of those i bought like four of those and i have all of them in jamaica so when i get home i'm gonna have to redo that video showing you how the super um high waist jeans fit i'm a size three in all of those but I am a size five in the classic high waist. Now this is the classic high waist in um, light wash or medium wash, and I and I and I and I bought the other one, the dark wash. So I'm a size five in these. Oh, did I say what size I was in this top? I'm a small. Most 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 tops. I'm a small. Your girl is not that extra small. So this is how it looks with the jeans. Um, I'm gonna try it on with some boots. I've been loving boots of lately So I went to Macy's and I saw these Jessica Simpson boots in this light gray color and I got them So I'm gonna try it on to see how it looks and you guys let me know if it's a hit or if it's a miss It's not another hit or miss sort of thing with me because like I'm not sure how the boots situation is gonna work But yeah, this is how it looks with the um Top the bodysuit and the jeans and if you want you could just wear simple heels with it You don't have to wear you know anything fancy you can also wear the flats um but i am a heel person and you see how it just um hugs your curves and your gives you this nice little like it just hugs your curves and makes you feel like yeah like everything is just in place this is what i love about the jeans the jeans are not like 
harsh you're like jeggings and it's just really nice and just really really comfortable so if you're looking for jeans that really and truly just fits you and that are long because a lot of times you find jeans that are like stop before you reach your angle you're like you know you're supposed to be a jeans or a three-quarter pants like what are you doing yeah these don't do that they literally go all the way down and leave a little bit of room right here so i like that so try it on with the boots and see yeah so these boots i got from macy's they are jessica simpson and they are gorgeous don't tell courtney don't don't tell him shoot you ban me all right so the other one the zip came all the way up here but with this one the zip stopped like right there so oh god and this one is not a pointy toe it's like a little round toe come through jessica simpson i see you <laughs> all right so this is how it looks with the boots <sighs> yeah all right see how it snatches your waist and then have your curves looking like <sighs> yeah that's how fashion over fits you sometimes but not ever and again guys do you see me have a little booty or not a little booty or no i think i probably do have a little booty something <laughs> so yeah this is how it looks mm -hmm. i don't know what's going on <laughs> okay all right oh oh hold already come on go up <laughs> okay all righty oh all right so <laughs> all right it's up it's up now these are the Oh, I'm out of breath. Oh, Lord Jesus. These are the beach bum jeans. Ripped jeans. Like I got in a fight with a dog. Cleared it all in. But ripped jeans are in and every girl needs a pair of ripped jeans. And I think they probably have like maybe four pairs now, right? Oh, Lordy. That was a task to get in these jeans. But the thing with these jeans is that you don't want to have them too big. So you want them to stretch enough so they get over your thighs and over your butt and onto your waist. But you don't want to have so much stretch in them. So you see the thing is I put them on and still have a little stretch and that's perfect. Like you don't want to have too much room. And I don't like for the ripped jeans to be sagging. So these are the beach bum jeans. And I'm a size 3 even though I had to like struggle to get in them. So if you want to struggle, go ahead and get a size 3 if you're my size. But if you want like a lot of room, a lot more room, because they really do stretch. So once they're on, they are comfortable. You can move about. You can, yeah. This is a this is a test that you do to make sure that your, you know, your crotch area is <laughs> is free and you don't get any rips while bending over or doing anything. And you can pick up your things peacefully. You did the crotch test. Yeah. So the crotch test is a pass. So the fur, so if the crotch test is a pass for me pants are past so it's very comfortable once it's on but if you really do need an additional space in your jeans go right ahead and get a size 5 but for me a size 3 was just enough um, with these they don't go really high up they kind of stop right over your navel right here so I mean it's okay it's not bad but I kind of like when my jeans go up these days but I like that I like I like it I love the ripped jeans in them I love the details I love the one, two, three, and then this big patch over your knee, like, what, what is that? Okay, this is doing the most, but, um, yeah, it's really nice, and if you want to get some pair of ripped jeans, you should definitely try this one and another one that I'm going to try on that's also from them. Uh, yeah, so this is what is uh, called the You Go Girlfriend Jeans. <laughs> you Go Girlfriend. <laughs> the one thing I like with Fashion Nova is they're very creative with the name of their clothes, like, you go girlfriend all right now this is gonna be a task to put on because you know like all these ripped jeans this is how this looks um very ripped in the back there is um a lot of rip um so you have rip in the front rip in the back and just a very light color denim like it's a true jeans like it's not jeggings it's very fitted and it's very it just no stretch in it whatsoever so if you have if you're a curvy person definitely go a size up i went two sizes up actually and it fits really nice like i really really do love how it fits uh once it passes your thighs and your butt you're clear you're home free 
his jeans is that it's just really nice um with this one though i don't think you get much like butt action because it's very stiff it's not very stretchy so i'm not sure if i'm having a little butt in this or, <laughs> or if it's just um making my butt flat but it's feels so this is the kind of the jeans in white and i have it in burgundy and black but i'm not going to try them because it's the same jeans they feel the same i am a size three and i'm a size um small in the top this is the um you better work shirt which is funny because i thought that it actually looks like a really cute work shirt um you could wear them together and the jeans fits <clears throat> so nice like it gives you a nice little curve um i mean it, it extends it well it shows up your curve rather um, they are really nice i just put on the shoes to show you how it would look if you're wearing with a stiletto or it will look really cute too if you're wearing it with some nice cute little flats so all in all i think it's a really cute number yeah i do think it's a cute little number um paired together you can wear it a little brunch even for dinner or it could literally be a little business where like a, just have these two little um <laughs> two little ripped like <laughs> okay we weren't sure if we're gonna give you a ripped jeans or a plain jeans but let's just slash your knee just in case you know yeah that kind of vibe one of my favorite body suits from fashion nova it's so slim fitting and so soft um this is called um um you slay bodysuit and this is the color burgundy and then i got this victoria um wide leg high-waisted pants in um olive green um i have this also in white and i have it in yellow but as i said i'm not going to try the different colors i'm just going to try the size this in these i'm a small in this bodysuit i went and got an extra small and it actually fits really nice um so yeah this is how they fit together i will probably maybe wear this with a small jacket because the straps are so tiny and my boots feel like if i bend they'll just pop right out and then it'll be like nipple to the wind like will not go like calm down so yeah this is how they fit and if i bend it will be me just pop right out yeah may pop right out so i might have to wear a jacket with this or <laughs> or you know something because we are not gonna go beer nipples that's not cute ladies and this is how the high-waisted pants fit they are very high-waisted actually and they are very long so you can wear your stilettos and still have some length yeah and other than so when you dance pencil skirt and it's really i think it really is really really sexy like it hugs your curves and like hmm well fashion over you're doing well, not a real not a real level um and it's like a pencil skirt sort of like um but you know it will i think this would look so nice if it actually went below your knee like about uh, some inches below your knee and again i'm holding these because if i bend over too much these are just gonna pop right out and we're not trying to have nipple to the wind here we are not trying to go you know nipple to the wind on youtube <laughs> so yeah these are very nice they're very hyper high-waisted um it's so comfortable like uh i had a I actually got a small in it and it stretches to fit your curves like oh wow like yeah if you're gonna shop on fashion nova and not buy shorts why are you even shopping on fashion nova so i got these super high-waisted shorts they are called the what are they called actually i don't know they don't have a name wow they don't They don't have a name but they are super high waisted and if i find the name i'm gonna link it what are they called oh destroyed rolled high waisted shorts and i guess it means destroyed because it has some rips and rolled because the legs are rolled hmm all right so yeah i got these and they come up like really short like over your butt um i'm not really a fan of like um shorts that much but I do wear them like if I'm going to the beach or if I'm going on like a little adventure that involves bathing suit. Um, but for these shorts, I find that they look they look cute and classy at the same time. And they look like, you know, they could be worn out on a night out if you're going out with your boo. So I was like, okay, all right, I feel you. I see you, Fashion Nova. I see what you're doing there. So I got them. And this is how they look. Let me know, guys, if this is appropriate. 
like <laughs> this is too much hanging out dangling this is too much butt to the wind um maybe if i'm gonna wear it out i would not wear it with like this top because i'm gonna have boobs out and legs out that would be too much so maybe i wear it with like a dress shirt like the mustard that i just had or a nice little chiffon color chiffon material but yeah i do think that i could wear this out if courtney allows me which you probably won't so we'll see <laughs> but other than that i really do love it like it's very nice fitting like it's she's giving a little thought vibe but not making it look like a thought you know <laughs> so this is why i like it but again i wouldn't wear it with so much boobs out i probably wear it with a nice little dress shirt and that would be that because it does give you a little booby booty give your booty a little pop so you're kind of doing a little bit in the back so you don't want to be doing a little bit in the front too you kind of want to keep it a little bit conservative up here and let the legs show down here yeah that's what you want to do <laughs> but yeah guys that's exactly what i plan to do with the shorts if courtney allows me to oh, why the shoes feel like it just why why it's so funny because usually i do not buy things like this but i saw this cute little i don't know it's like a top it's like a beach cover-up i'm like let me just buy it and see how it fit and it's well you can't wear the bra because it's straps and then it will sh the bra will show up here so i was like hmm should i wear the beach cover-up or a top but i'm thinking that if you wear something high-waisted you may be you may be able to get away with wearing it as a top because it's like very cute and it's not showing too much if you wear it with a like a pants or a shorts you know so this is called the angel angel wings top and it's in small i got it in small um yeah even though maybe if i got an extra small i could be able to like pull this a little bit more tighter but yeah i think small works perfectly fine for me and it's very long in the back so that's what i'm wondering is it a beach cover-up is it a top what do you think is it both like let me know in the comments what do you think like what would you wear this as as a beach cover-up or as a top like with a cute shorts like this like or you know what i was thinking too like somebody who's pregnant like a maternity shoot like this would look so cute like there's a little belly out you know and stuff yeah but i yeah maybe maybe when i get pregnant <laughs> so courtney you know in the future maybe i'll wear this you know what do you think <laughs> so yeah this is how this fits and it's very long in the back i think for me i definitely wouldn't wear it with a stiletto i would wear it flats and i would probably just save it for a special occasion that calls for it because i'm not sure what to wear it as so let me know in the comments what you think is the beach cover up is it a cute little thing to wear rather than maternity to shoot or is it like a nice top that you would actually wear go out yeah let me know because i'm not sure i bought it because i'm like it could work for something but i'm just not sure what yet top is called the turning head the turning heads top and what i find is that i don't like how the buttons are the buttons are like little pearls and they could just pop right open at any minute and i don't like that because my boobs are not very um corporative like they're really very not corporative like so yeah like i see what you're doing fashion over is cute but like ladies like have big boobs like me mm -mm. i probably will have to like stitch these holes a little bit smaller so that these can stay put because this one just keeps popping out like you'll see it just pop out and i'm like we're not trying to have nipple to the wind like see it pop right open again like what are you doing are you staying put or are you just like what is it is this limit this is like trying to like give us this nipple to the wind vibe and i'm not liking that but i do love the back i love the back of this top it's called the turning heads top as i said um and i'm pretty sure this will turn some heads um I would probably wear it with those, you know, those strappy sandals. I would probably pair with some strappy sandals, and that would be really cute. And some shorts. I'm not sure if I would wear this with pants, but some strappy sandals may really look cute with it. Or some strappy stilettos and some shorts. And yeah, and that would be that. But it's really cute. Like, I love it. And they do have them in white. I was going to get it in a white. It was like, nah, blue is enough for me. So I didn't get two of them. Most things I do. I do purchase in different colors. That's why my bill went over <laughs> by so much. Like the, my bill wouldn't have been so much if I'd only gotten one item in one color. I was like, oh, I need it in that color too. So yeah. And this is how the back looks. Very cute, very flirty, very tropical vibe, very Jamaica, Caribbean, date night kind of vibe. Yeah. 
so yeah that's how that is and it's gonna keep popping so why just button it just i'm gonna wait until i go home i just like stitch it up and then it will stay put because as it is it's nipples to wind and boobies to the wind yeah that's all. so guys i do believe we have reached the end of the video this top is still giving boobies to the wind but we're not going to pay that any attention um we have reached the end of the video i've gone through a lot of things as you can see i still have a bunch of stuff that i have not tried on i have a lot of dresses that i haven't tried on so i was thinking i was going to do a separate video um dedicated to dresses only um if you want to if you want to see that let me know bring this video to 200 likes and i will definitely do that video for you also i have a lot more jeans that are in jamaica that i haven't tried yet well i tried them i did the, vi the video and i lost the video so i want to do another video with those jeans because i only um tried on i believe two jeans here um so uh there was one ripped jeans that i just couldn't find i don't know <laughs> where it was but I, I didn't try that one that i got um but um all the other jeans that i have are in jamaica and i will definitely try those for you so you'll know how they fit uh, again my bill went up to so much because i bought different colors um like for the victoria high waist pants i have it in green i have it in yellow and i have it in white and like the kind of jeans i have it in like a burgundy a white and a black and that's what brought my bill up to so much like whenever i saw something i liked even the high hopes um, bodysuit i had in white i also have it in black so when i saw something i like i'm like okay i need to get another color and that's what brought my bill up to so much if i only had taken one i probably would have paid spent like half of what i spent so yeah you know um again it's just you know don't go overboard spending crazy money like me don't follow me like my my situation is sad <laughs> but yeah um as i said if you want to let if you want to have me do that video with the dress dresses i'll definitely do that for you um i also got some dresses from boohoo and misguided so i could combine all of those or i could do it separately so i don't you know confuse you guys so i will just have like a boohoo and a, a misguided and a fashion over video so let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that and uh if you're not yet subscribed i can't believe i forgot to say that guys if you're not yet subscribed come on join the family subscribe below hit that subscription button below and welcome to the family be a part of the family follow our journey all that good jazz so yeah i think i've pretty much said everything tried on most of the things actually no i haven't tried on most of the things because i still have a lot more things that i have not tried on but i do not want this video to be so long-winded so i'm going to break them in parts and do some dresses and i also have a lot of bathing suits like i got a lot of bathing suits from fashion over so if you want to see that those bathing suits i will have to talk to courtney about that and maybe do a fun video where i put him in it like reviewing or what do you think like um him um, you know giving my fashion over bathing suits some scores or you know telling me what he thinks about him but i don't want to do that because he's a he's my husband and i do not want to post a bathing suit video on youtube and him kill me over here <laughs> so i'm probably gonna do one um with him and see what he says so i'm probably gonna do one with him rating my fashion over um bathing suits so because i have like about eight bathing suits that i've gotten from fashion nova it's ridiculous so if you want to see those bathing suit guys let me know in the comments also if you want to see courtney rate my fashion over um bathing suits let me know and yeah let fa get courtney's a hater guys he will for sure say no you're not doing a youtube video with you wearing bathing suits blah 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 okay boo okay boo but anyways guys before this video gets all long-winded let me wrap this up by saying thank you so much for being a part of the family if you're already subscribed and again if you're not yet subscribed please hit that subscription button below and be a part of the family and until next time bye